Well, good morning, my YouTube friends. Chloe and I are here in our old RV and we're getting it ready to go do some traveling. Where are we going, Chloe? We're driving to Montana. Yes, we're gonna drive all the way back to Montana and we live in Alaska right now. So um, it's gonna be a long drive, at least probably four days. And so the reason we're going back is because my husband's mom is not doing as well anymore. She's already almost 90 years old and uh, we just wanna go back uh, and see her, spend time with family. My husband actually had flown back uh, a couple weeks ago and seen his mom, just spent some time with her. And you can see that episode on our Montana Haven channel. Uh, if you don't know about it, we have another family channel called Montana Haven. So. You can see that on there, but we are getting the RV ready to go traveling. I'm only going to do a couple things today and then later, like the day before we leave, we have a lot of packing to do, like bringing in stuff. And But right now I'm going to fix our bed and then Chloe and Avalon will fix their bed up here. And the boys will be sleeping on sleeping bags. This is not like an amazing big <laughs> RV. This is a tight, small RV and it is old and some of you would probably not travel in something like this but hey it works it's it's a it runs well and it travels well and i'm just so thankful that we have an rv <laughs> to travel in because it just makes it so much easier for the children they can play games um 
you know, we can do things while we travel. So this is going to be fun and we're going to start getting it ready. We're looking forward to the trip. So Chloe, let's get started, shall we? Yep. Mm. <laughs> Okay, we got the bed quickly done and we're not bringing out our pillows until the day we leave. Um, but yeah, simple and a lot of warm blankets. I usually just find my oldest towels and bring them out here in the RV when we go traveling. So that makes it nice. We have a little shower right in here and some really old raggedy washcloth <laughs> that I take for traveling. But I'm gonna put this in our little bathroom. So, here are the towels. Is there still one towel there, Chloe? Yes. Oh. And it's not folded. Not folded? I think we still have room for one more. Some of these are got bleached and are faded, but they still are fine, like they're nice, thick, Towels, so they'll work. So, and I just have like a basket like this, a galvanized tub, and then I just literally set it here in our little shower. And this is where it goes when we travel. Uh, why don't we roll up the washcloths and stick them in here. Okay. Yep. So you guys, this is a couple days later and it's Sunday and come on in. <laughs> Avalon is bringing a backpack in with some of her stuff. 
Um, but yes, the last couple days we were just trying to get everything ready and I just decided not to video because it can get kind of hectic to video everything uh, while you're trying to get ready for, you know, a big major trip. So anyways, I wanted to show you around just a little bit, show you we got almost everything packed. Uh, there's still last minute things, of course, but one thing that we did was we got our house, you know, cleaned up, swept and mopped. <laughs> we're actually going to go over to my sister's house for dinner tonight. Um, and then we're planning on leaving in the morning and maybe I'll still get some footage uh, tomorrow when we travel. But I wanted to show you around a little bit and show you some things that I got to make the time go faster. Um, first of all, the children have these story hours. Um, and I think they listened to most of these. Did they, Avalon? Yeah, yeah, we have still more, but we just yeah. got this from our so, Mosey, right? But yeah, they just, they're okay with listening to them again. And then I actually went to a thrift store one day and just looked at for some books, you know, that might be kind of interesting. One of the books is called Hearts on Fire, and it's like um, stories of eight different women in the underground church. You know, uh, it's... From the voice of the margers so it's kind of interesting i think and then i also got one for the boys and even joe is because he hasn't read this it's out of season the johnny luster story alaska's last great mountain man <laughs> so they're gonna love to read this and just a few others let me see what is this far farther than the sun can see i'm not even sure what that is about um and then also, I actually sent for this one for Joas and I to read and maybe even the boys if they want to. But I hear it's a really, really good book. You almost can't put it down. It's like, it's called Living a Life of Fire by Reinhard Bunke. And he was an, an amazing evangelist. So we're going to be reading that. Oh, and there's another book that I'm reading right now that I'm bringing along. And this is by Stephen Curtis Chapman. It's Between Heaven and the Real World, my story. It's actually really good. I had it for a while and I didn't even pick it up and read it because I just didn't think it would be that interesting. But it is actually really, really interesting and really good. So I'm taking this along. So I'm going to just take you around a little bit and show you what I prepared uh, food-wise and just snacks. You know, you have to have a plan when you go traveling with a family of seven. <laughs> So we're just kind of throwing the sleeping bags and stuff up here on Avalon and Chloe's bed. They're going to sleep up here and the boys just throw their sleeping bags up there and their um, duffel bags. And then over here in these cabinets, I have a ton of just snacks. Snacks and cereal, a little bit of flour and sugar and baking soda if I want to make some sourdough biscuits um but yeah i just need plenty of snacks on hand for when we travel then let's see here let's go over here right over here i have this big basket of just fruits fruits like um apples pears and little oranges and some avocado and I just thought, I want to have some healthy things here, healthy options where they can just grab. Whenever they feel like snacking, they can grab. So I'm not sure where I'll set this when we're driving, but I have it here for now. And let's see, here in this microwave, I don't ever use the microwave. I'm not even sure if it's working. But I have um, just some coffee mugs in here and all the, like the coffee grinder, the French press right there. And I just kind of put like hot pads and stuff in between so that they don't go break on me. And now for the freezer area, it is pretty full. I have a couple freezer meals here, some lasagna and like a chicken and vegetable rice bake that I just bought. And then I have like a meat, fried meat mixture, kind of a taco meat here that we can have with, like we can have tacos one evening. And then of course I just have some moose meat here, some sausages, a little bit of salmon, um uh, just for our dinners and let's go in the fridge area and here i just have like sour cream yogurts um 
milk. I still am going to put in some more milk, some more eggs, because we eat a lot of eggs. Here are some grapes. Here I have a bunch of, of carrots, a bunch more yogurts, and a lot of peppers here that they can just munch on, some cheese. And then over here, I have a few drinks and things and just condiments. So, yeah, that is it. Except where do I have my sourdough starter? Okay, right down here. I have just a little bit of sourdough starter. I actually am going to leave some in my fridge here in Alaska, and I'm also taking some along. And I can just take this out and add some more flour and water and let it activate, and then I can make some like sourdough biscuits to go with our dinners. I forgot to show over on this side. I just have all our plastic wear, all our plastic wear. And, um, oh, they also have some games in here. And then, yeah, just more plastic items. Here in our shower, um, I just have these towels that you saw me do the other day and our shampoo and conditioner uh, and our body wash. And by the way, this stuff right here is, are all natural. This, I love the shampoo and conditioner. And um, I get this on lemongrassspa.com and I have uh, an event link underneath my videos where you can check out this stuff. Um, actually, if you order on that event link, you will be automatically placed in a drawing for free product. And I do those drawings like the last week of every month. So here soon I'll be do doing those drawings again. So, uh, yeah, just go check out the link. They have makeup, uh, skincare and yeah, all hair care, everything you really need. And that is literally all that I use for myself. I just love that I can have natural things for my skin, my body, my hair. So you can go check out that link underneath if you like. And I think we're also gonna stack some of our luggage in here. This is Wyatt's suitcase. He already brought it in. <laughs> I think he still has a couple more things to put in there, but he already brought it out. And then here's our bedroom. We still need to bring our pillows in and all that. Um, but I'm gonna show you here. Here is where he has some of his shirts. And then on the other side, I have some of my dresses that I'm just hanging up there. So that is all for right now. But tomorrow, maybe once we're on the way, I will do a little bit of videoing. And then I will be editing and trying to get this out for you in time.
arrive and we have been traveling for most of the day. Um, I think we're going to get to the border of Canada here soon, maybe in a couple hours. Um, and I'm sorry if it's really loud in here because this thing is kind of loud. Um, but I'm sitting back here on the bed as we drive and just resting and reading. I was actually finishing up this book by Stephen Curtis Chapman and I would definitely recommend this book. I just, I mean, I was laughing sometimes and in tears a lot just reading it. Um, they had three children of their own and then they adopted three children and one of them got killed. Uh, and so it was just their journey of heartbreak and uh, healing and he's also I'm sure a lot of you know who he is he's a singer songwriter um, so I would recommend this book I'm sure you can get it on um, on Amazon it's called between heaven and the real world <laughs> it's so bumpy back here but anyways I'm gonna go heat up some dinner soon and uh, yeah it's just so relaxing just to just to be able to relax because the last couple days were so full and so busy. Um, so we're just enjoying this ride. The children doing their schoolwork and reading. And so, yes, I don't know where we're going to stop for the night. We're just going to find a place and stop for the night. But um, yeah, we're going to enjoy this and looking forward to seeing all our family and friends at home in Montana. And by the time you see this video, we will already have gotten there. So my friends, God bless you all, and we will see you all in Montana.